If any. Hmm. Movies suck. Yeah, they're just not good anymore. Like, Rise of Skywalker, She-Hulk. Like shows That's a TV like... show. I want to watch something that makes me feel like a kid. Ninja Turtles? No, maybe another time. Power Rangers? Hmm, maybe. Transformers? Yeah! So, we haven't really seen this movie. We're only aware of the Bayformer movies because those movies were our childhood. So, we're going to experience uh, G1 Transformers for the first time. Marvel Productions made this? It's not Marvel Comics, though. I will give them that. Oh, damn. You see that? Yeah, I do. Dude, Unicron looks absolutely... Is that supposed to be him? Because if... He was originally the villain in the first movie. The Sprite Lemonade is pretty good. Also brought to you by, uh... We're actually, we're not sponsored by Prime, but if Optimus Prime was here right now, he'd be sponsoring the shit out of us. Oh man, they got a mall and shit? They got a mall and everything! Like, this is- wow. Is this supposed to be the culture of Cybertron? I guess so. Or, no, this, this probably isn't Cybertron. It has to be a different planet. They're about to get destroyed by a planet, bro. See what's happening, though? See what happens when you don't pay attention to your security, guys. That's Unicron. Some, somebody was on maintenance right now while this was all happening. Transformers, or The Transformers, the movie. <laughs> I hate that title. Why do they always put two thes in there? See? Look, you see yeah, that? that's kind of strange. Man, you could have just called it Transformers The Movie. But no, they went with The Transformers The Movie. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Idle as Rekgar? Ah. Eric Idle. Why is he in Mighty there? Python. <laughs> what is he doing? Judd Nelson is Hot Rod. I don't know who Judd Nelson is. Some 80s guy we don't know about. Oh, Leonard Nimoy. Leonard Nimoy. Sentinel Prime? It is the year 2005. The year 2005. Wait, really? Is this how 80s people imagined uh, what 2005 would be like? I don't think the world hasn't really changed a whole lot besides from the warmongering car people. Okay. Ironhide, report to me at once. Hey, it's Peter Cullen. You hear him? Yeah. Hey, they're one of the best voice actors and still one of the best Optimus Prime voices ever. I want you to make a special run to Autobot City on Earth. It will be Wait, they, they know what Earth is? Oh yeah, because the 80s cartoon. Uh, they teamed up with humans, remember? Oh, yeah. So maybe this takes place after the 80s cartoon, I'm assuming? I don't know I much. guess so. I don't know what's much about their storyline going around in this, uh, in this movie. Jazz, report security status. No sign to set the guns here, Prime! Uh, that is completely different from what I remember Jazz saying. You remember when he used to be what's cracking little bitches? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's not the Jazz that I know, but... This is what everybody remembers as Jazz as. And tell him not to worry. There's humans? Yeah. There's literally 80s. No, they're not. They won't be as consistently bad as. Uh, I hope not. As uh, TJ Miller and other people like Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> or Shia LaBeouf's parents. Yeah, true. Mark Wahlberg, honestly, can we talk about him? Like, when we said the sponsorship by Prime. <laughs> the there was no sponsorship of Cade Yeager. <laughs> Bud Light. <laughs> he literally took one sip of it and spit it out, and that was it. Laserbeak. Oh, that is Laserbeak from the third movie. So it's supposed to be Megatron's pet. Starscream, there's my boy. I actually really like the, uh, the voices they added for these characters. I do, too. Yeah, they look absolutely- they sound awesome. There's a fight going yo, on! Meg yo, Megatron What's? Oh my god, he can turn into a gun! Wait, Megatron can turn it- I never see that happen before. Dude, they- <laughs> They just ever- they just shot that guy! Oh my god! This is Jesus a, Christ! Is this what the movie's gonna be? Just killing off really important characters, I'm assuming. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> oh my. Starscream said, anyways, I started blasting. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna piss myself from all the violence. Dude, yeah, Transformers is a very violent uh, series, but it's not too surprising. 
Where are we? Fish are jumping today, huh, Dano? Dano? I guess so. Hot Rod. Okay, this is supposed to be uh, the, the Ed 80 Stars character. I don't even remember his name. Me <laughs> I'm sorry. He probably fumbled right into irrelevancy somehow. So is this supposed to be Earth? Because so far the Autobots are actually with the humans and helping them out and stuff, right? I guess so. So maybe they're trying to finish up this whole Unicron Decepticon war going on. This movie fucking rocks. <laughs> just people just doing awesome shit. Look, he literally transformed into a car and just gave him the amount of just speed gave him the go. amount of sp no wonder why he's called Hot Rod. Dude, all these Autobots. I don't know any of them though, but some of them do look really cool. Is it, yeah, that's a Cree from the movie. Oh my god. See, that's literally her. They're literally running from laser beams. <laughs> this oh is my sick. God. I love him so much. I love Starscream. What? I don't know why he sound like. Yeah, he literally. That's what he sounded like in the cartoon. I want to make a set babies with RC. Oh my God! Why? <laughs> hey, it was literally what my friend said the other day. You're just as down bad as him. <laughs> All we've seen so far is just pure Transformers action. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Because none of it has been really focusing on the humans much, and it honestly feels such a breath, a breath of fresh air to watch a Transformers movie that isn't <laughs> involved with uh, Shia LaBeouf. I'm asking you about life while serving French fries. We got Decepticons in the case. Decepticons in the air. <laughs> Slow down, dude. How much speed have you been smoking, dude? <laughs> Wait, actually, now that I think about it, that's actually, uh, I think that's the dude from the Guinness World Record books that actually has the lot, like, the fastest speaker in all of human history. You think? Yeah, I think that's him right there. Oh, my. That was literally, he was the dudes that did that, those commercials and stuff. Oh, God. That's, that's dedication, though. That's cool. Oh, Wait, is that? Oh, shit! Optimus oh. is coming to save the day. Here we go, boys. Optimus is here. This movie is so sick. There's Grimlock. Literally. This is the Dinobots from Age of Extinction. God, I gotta stop referencing Bayverse. Megatron must be stopped. No matter the cost. Bro, he is. He's literally turning into his to vehicle. Truck. His truck. It, all it's giving me is the Optimum Prime vibes, though, with the with the scene. Did, did the did the truck look like that in Bumblebee? Yeah, I think it did, if I remember correctly. But then instead, they made him into a hot rod flamed, uh, whatever you call it. Why throw away your life so recklessly? That's a question you should ask yourself, Megatron. No! I'll crush you with my bare hand! That is so sick. <laughs> Seeing Frank Welker and Peter Cullen fight in their characters is so dope. Arr, I told you this movie's sick. And you, you just like this brand, don't you, Paramount? <laughs> Viacom. Viacom, please. We're not going to sponsor our Prime videos off of Optimus. And please don't copyright us. We're trying our best. <laughs> Bro, the lightsaber? Oh my god, he like slashed him. Oh no, don't don't take out Optimus, bro. That's gonna be sad. No, you don't, oh. Hot Rod, get out of the way. What are you doing? No! no! Just, they just cook Optimus up with laser bullets. Don't they have Energon? Yeah, is there a way to like... He, oh, he's badly br br beaten, man. It's over, Prime. I know, it's not over when he says it's over. Damn, dude! He kicked... Punched the shit out of him. Oh, no, they're setting up the sad music. They're literally... Oh my, oh my god. god! Optimus is literally on his, his dying bed. bed. Oh my god! Optimus Prime will not be returning. 
in Avengers Endgame. Why is this movie so fucking sad? They went, I'm like, don't kill off, don't kill him off, dude. I like him. Bro, he's literally getting, that's, oh, it's the Matrix. They're literally giving away his power. Oh. Is that what, wait, the Matrix keeps Optimus Prime intact, even though it got damaged? Oh my god. No. Oh my. No. Oh my. No, don't. Don't oh. you dare turn off those lights. Oh. Uh -oh. And he gets desaturated. His corpse is gone. Oh my god. That is so upsetting. It is. Bro. Jesus Christ, the Unicron is pissed. Is he actually going to become a leader now? I think so. Dude, that would actually be really sick, though, if he actually becomes the new leader. Are they all... Oh, no, they're jumping out of the space place. Are they ditching Megatron? Dude, Starscream is such an asshole. Oh. <laughs> That's why I love him, bro. He's literally throwing Megatron off. Just to become oh the leader. Oh my god, Star Scream. Wow, you're dirty for that. You know what? I, I actually think these outfits or these designs mainly are a lot better. There's the cassette babies again. Oh uh, yeah. Why are the cassette why does he have so many of them? I have no idea. Oh, bro, they're like little action figures, like little microbots. What? They're literally having a brawl out, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> They're literally just tossing each other left and right. And meanwhile, they're just having fun while Megatron's just out in the distance in space. But hey, at least he's not in the ocean, though. Bro, what six-year-old child gives a shit about Orson Welles in a Transformers? I mean, it's it's obviously the coolest performance, though, but, like, but why? I think this is where Unicron gives uh, all the auto the Decepticons the uh, Galvatron stuff, mainly. I guess so. Yeah. I've seen clips and bits of this movie, mainly, but not entirely, though. So that's I'm just assuming that he's probably going to become Galvatron right here. Yo, oh, yeah, we were my. watching this with the lights off, with the neon lights right now in our room. It would be much more trippier. It would be. Dude, this is honestly a really cool sequence, though. Dude, they're all spaceships and shit. Oh, Literally, they're all God. jets and stuff. And they get... Unicron's giving them the luxury of a lifetime. Oh, my Bruh, God. Bruh, like, he literally gave them power and everything. And now they're servants of one of the most dangerous beings of on in the universe. Uh, yep, I was right. You, Starscream was literally becoming king right now. Look at him. My boy has achieved royalty. Oh no! Look who's here! Oh no. Megatron? Is that you? No. Bruh. Turns into a Oh gun. my god! Oh. No! <laughs> No way! They killed off Starscream. Oh my god! Bro, Megatron literally did a drive-by in the Decepticon lair and killed him. And they they all agree to be on Galvatron's side. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, this movie's awesome, but I'm still pissed that Starscream died in in a most crazy way though. Bro, I literally, the fact that Bumblebee hasn't really gotten a whole lot of screen time, though, it's kind of, yeah, I think he gets more screen time mainly in the show. Yeah. More than, than I was assuming it was going to be. I guess so. Yeah, the, the, whole, the whole planet is about to get destroyed. Oh my. They literally need to get out of there immediately. <laughs> Jesus! Jesus Christ! Some 80s stuff. Look! It isn't even dented! Oh shit, what are we- Oh my Whoa. god! Whoa! 
Whoa, slow down. Oh You're telling me they cuss in this movie? <laughs> this is if a movie for children has, bro. Tell story. 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 Ow. Oh shit, but Galvatron already made it back. He's already shooting missiles at them. Why can't in the Bay first we introduce Galvatron? Well, we, we did. Oh, we did? It was in the fourth movie. But it was a wasted potential. Yeah, you only had like five minutes of screen time mainly. Alright, we survived that. Yeah, but boy, survived this. Oh, he's apparently just gonna shoot a bigger missile, ain't he? Let, let me guess, right? No, he sends in his Decepticon buddies. Oh my god, this movie goes absolutely hard with the 80s music. Like, sure, it's outdated, but holy shit, it is catchy. Oh my god. I, 80s music had always had, like, a certain catch to it, dude. Anybody? Where are they at? It looks like they're at a... Bre oh, an alter Whoa, god, okay, she's so hot. Stop it! <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop! Alright, I just lost my train of thought. Are they on a new planet? I guess so. Okay, yeah, that's what I was assuming, dude. Just stop what you're doing. He's a robot. It's kind of tricky. Oh, oh. Bro did a front flip, though. He'll get there. And he, of course he lands right onto a Kree. Well, why not? Oh, yeah. Because the fan service for her. People love that. I love her. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah, just, uh... Enough of us. <laughs> yeah, all right, enough. Uh, you're, so, you're already I'm getting so... me into it, though. Jesus Christ. I'm tired of saying it already. <laughs> you mean you're pretending that it's not? Yeah. Just, uh, tired of pretending it's not. <laughs> oh, these are, uh... Oh, oh he's gonna do a greeting. I guess so. Excuse me? Bah we've grown, we pity bah. Bah we gum, what? Give, give me a bond. That's what he says. <laughs> <laughs> he says again, uh, mini bong. He's saying pass the mini bond, probably. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Are they gonna. F oh my god! Dude, they, these are. What are these, like, multiple faces? Is this supposed to be the. Uh, oh my god. It's supposed to be, like, a, something that, like, similar to Quintessa? Me, Grimlock, positive, hot rod, and cop close! Grimlock was honestly... My two favorite characters probably in Transformers are Starscream and Grimlock. Mm. Is, is that reasonable? Because those are honestly the coolest characters in the entire show. Picture you not? No fool you not? <laughs> Why does his voice sound like that? I don't know. I Dude. can't believe they got Timmy Turner for this. <laughs> Oh there, there goes the cursing it, again. Open. Oh my god. So we've had shit and, and damn, damn it. it. Okay, that's a little... Still not un very unlikely for Transformers to cuss mainly. Well, we never actually see the Transformers. Did he cut. die? Oh, is he gonna die? Yeah, dude, he's dead. He's dead! Oh. No way! Oh. Dude, you just introduce him to become the next Prime and then you kill him off just oh. like that? Oh. Oh, that's so stupid, man. I really need to comb my hair right now. And I'm literally stressing the fuck out over an 80s movie. <laughs> cartoon movie. Oh, okay, okay, they're causing I, a whirlpool. Okay, I will admit, uh, they kill off a lot of characters in this movie. They do. They really do, but at the same time, it's like... I'll give them the benefit of the doubt, though, or, like, credit where credit's due. That, that, it's very different compared to, like, instead of just seeing all your favorite characters on the big screen, it's normally just seeing your favorite characters get killed off on the big screen. So I will admit, this movie's got balls. <laughs> That's what Eric is, Idle. Is that Eric Idle? <laughs> Eric Idle is the freaking... As the weird alien Transformers? Yeah. I don't think they're Decepticons or Autobots. They're just, like, alien species just living on their own planet mainly right yeah but they're they're literally playing a weird out yankovic song in this he yeah. was he really exists in the 80s too yeah he did okay yeah he's been around for a while then i didn't even something that i'm didn't even know about dude this movie rocks they apparently greeted the aliens they're all friends now 
Grimlock is gonna be nice to the folks too. And then he just got kissed, so that's funny. We talk TV. You talk some TV. I talk some TV. And now the news. Don't touch that dial. <laughs> what? Oh my god. They literally have TV mini TV broadcasts. So is it the same equivalent as a mini bong and a, now as a mini TV? <laughs> Are they building? Uh... They're rebuilt. Oh, they're rebuilding. Uh, uh. What's his name? Mag Magnum something, right? Magnum Prime. Yeah, no, not Magnum. <laughs> yeah, he is supposed to be Magnum Prime. The Matrix. The Matrix Magnum. kept him alive. Low key though, I can kind of see why they made this character because he looks exactly like Optimus. Yeah. But he's a lot younger though too. You underestimate me, Galvatron. Is uh, he trying to transform? I think he's transforming. Yeah, this is we're totally gonna see a giant. There's his fists. Uh, his his legs. Okay. Those looks like his legs. Wasn't like the Michael Bay Transformers movie supposed to end with Unicron? Like ending? Who knows what was going to happen? The movie didn't really know what they were supposed to do with Unicron. Wow. Dude, look how huge he is. Oh my. I wonder who built Unicron. Look how. It's like a Power Rangers villain. And he's flying towards people. Oh. You don't fuck with Unicron, dude. He's scary. He's ready. Oh, that's Cybertron. Oh! oh. Cybertron. Oh, that's. Because the Decepticons are there and everything. They're literally going to destroy it. Now there's like a whole star battle going on right now. We've entered the Death Star, and now we're gonna save the Rebel base. What Just... happened to Rebel Base 2? Where's my dad? That's what we're gonna find out. Bumblebee and the human guy better be alive, though. That's for sure. This is honestly one of the best movies I've watched on this channel, honestly. Like, besides all the horrible things we've watched, the 1986 Transformers movie, it's like, it's like comfort food. It is. Yeah, like, this is... The comfort food of movies. He's got spikes and stuff all over his uh, suit and uh, his body and everything. Yep. Dude, I, I wonder though, nobody really brought this up though, but who created Unicron? Himself, I think. Maybe? Yeah, it could be right since he's a planet, right? Because planets normally do make themselves. Okay, Galvatron's alive. Yeah, Galvatron's refusing to give the Matrix to us. Uh, because he's got him, got to change. He's being brain, brainwashed by Unicron, so I think... What's his purpose, though? Like, what does Unicron mainly want with the Matrix? Does he want to harness it? Like, it's power mainly? I think so. Because he's already, like, controlling yeah. Galvatron and Megatron and all the other ones, but I don't think you really need... Uh, the Matrix, though, if you're just trying to take Can... over. There's literally a flood going on in Unicron's, uh... I, I think I would love to see our sea get wet, though. No! <laughs> Optimus is in the Matrix. Hot Rod's got the touch and the power. And most importantly, the hutch touch. Dude, the Matrix was so powerful that it literally just destroyed Unicron with an explosion. It did. Why does this kind of feel familiar to, like, Star Wars A New Hope, though? It does. Uh, Hot Rod feels like Luke Skywalker. Kree has, like, the Princess Leia hair buns. Prime Optimus is, Prime is, is like, like o Obi Ben Kenobi. Yeah, Obi-Wan. <laughs> and the Matrix is, like, the Force. And, and Unicron's a planet destroyer. Like, Death Star. <laughs> yeah, so this is kind of... So, is this like a copy of Star Wars now? Pretty much, but it's honestly really sick to watch. I have really enjoyed plenty of time with all of this. I did too, dude. It's honestly a really fun film. That wasn't a movie. That was art.